If you are looking for an easy way to start out in digital art on your Android phone or tablet, you are in the right place. Hi, my name is Kelvin and you're welcome to today's video where I'm going to be teaching you the simple steps you need to take in order to start drawing on your Android phones or Android tablet. Let's jump into it. So we are going to be using IBS Paint X for this tutorial. It's actually a free app which you can download on the Play Store so you can follow along on your mobile phones or your tablet. I usually start with a sketch. That's the first thing we're going to do. Start with a simple sketch. I'm using a simple airbrush just to try to define my figure. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. Low opacity airbrush so my lines are not so dark and thick. And then as soon as I'm done with that, I'm actually turning down the opacity of that very first sketch layer. And then I create the second layer on top. Now with the same airbrush with 100% opacity, I'm actually going over my initial sketch just to try to refine and fine tune and get something better. My initial sketch at this point is having as a guide just to ensure I don't go off. So I'm going over the lines slowly and I'm actually trying to emphasize certain areas of the sketch like the top of the eyelid. Those places should be darker. Now, as soon as I'm done with the sketch, I'm going to create a separate layer underneath the sketch and begin to apply my flat colors. By the way, the sketch will be available for free download. Link will be in the description in case you want to follow along. So I'm actually choosing my colors. I'm starting with a dark brown color because my character is dark skin. So what I'm trying to do at this point is to lay my flat color on the skin. The skin is actually on its own layer. And I'm just going around with the same airbrush. I'm actually going to use just the airbrush for the whole of this tutorial because it's a beginner's tutorial. We're trying to keep it as simple as possible. I'm actually going around my skin with the airbrush. And then the next thing, I'm going to create a separate layer for the head. And then I'm also going to use the airbrush to try to lay the flat color on the hair. We're just keeping it as simple as possible. I'm actually trying to make sure I don't go outside the lines because we have to make sure the flat colors stay within the lines. 
That way, it's easy for us to add lights and shadow later on using the clipping mask. Likewise, I've created a separate layer for the eyes. Parts of the characters are actually placed on separate layers. It makes it very easy for me to modify my character at any point, you know, along the creation process. I can go back, change colors, because I have the eyes on a separate layer. I have the lip on a separate layer. I have the hair on a separate layer. So I can decide to change colors anytime without altering my character. It's like a non-destructive workflow. It's actually very good to have all your major parts of your character on separate layers. So now I'm beginning to highlight the eyes, you know. And then I'm doing the same thing for the mouth, creating a separate layer and I'm beginning to apply colors to the mouth on its own layer. Likewise, I'm making sure all the colors I'm applying fall within the line. Now I'm painting the tongue making sure it falls within the, the sketch of the tongue. Same goes for the teeth. So once I have my flat colors all laid out, I can now begin to add simple shadows. And to do that, and to do that, I've created a separate layer on top of the skin layer and I've actually clipped it to the skin layer. I did that by creating a simple clipping mask, as you can see. I'm clipping the shadow layer to the skin layer. That way, all the strokes I make on the shadow layer will only apply within the skin layer because it is clipped to the skin layer. It is a very beautiful workflow that saves you a lot of time. So I'll just keep adding, adding simple shadows to the face. Just very, very simple shadows. I'm not going deep. My brush opacity is actually 100%, but at the same time, I'm making sure my shadows are very faint. I just want to build along gradually, adding shadows to tongue. I'm making a simple sketch up for the eyebrow, which we left out during the sketch process. 
And as you can see, our simple cartoon character is gradually coming together. Now I'm adding my background just to make the character pop a little bit. Create a separate layer for the hair and repeat the same process, clipping the hair shadow layer to the hair layer itself. And if you observe everything we've done so far, we've done only with a very simple airbrush. Just like I said, it's a beginner's tutorial, so we're trying to restrict ourselves to the very, very basic tools in IBS Paint X. So that's it for this tutorial, how to create a very simple cartoon head on Android. If you found it helpful, I would appreciate if you hit that like button, subscribe as well, so you can get notified each time we put out a new video. I'll see you in the next video.